Hey everybody, uh, Mikey's back again with a big uh, layout display slash world review, you know, reveal video. Uh, I know you guys have been probably wondering about this for a while and, you know, I haven't uh, been showing you guys this. I've been doing a lot of uh, pirate ship comparison videos and whatnot of the late as I knocked down uh, Smog off his uh, tower. So I figured it was time for me to, you know, do a big walkthrough and, you know, show you guys everything that uh, makes up my world, you know, collection, display, layout, uh, whatever you want to call it. And uh, let me just say, before I go any further, if you like this video or any other video on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it, guys. You guys are amazing. I can't uh, stress that enough. And so uh, here we are, and of course, uh, this is like my little uh, Mordor, you know, zone area. You know, these are the big, big baddies that you will find in my uh, uh, world here. I, I figured the, the bad guys from Lord of the Rings can't make any better of uh, bad guys, so uh, they are some of my uh, bad guy factions. You know, I have uh, multiple bad guy factions, as of course you go, you guys know. I have the different uh, pirate factions and whatnot, uh, like this evil pirate ship here. You know, that's one you know evil faction. You, you know, but all these bad guys here that are on the land, not in the sea, but on the land, uh, they are all uh, essentially working for the same side. They are just my you know evil Mordor force, as you see the Witch King riding that dragon there. And, uh, of course, they come from multiple themes. Uh, these ones here are from the Castle 2013 wave, uh, mostly. And then, uh, of course, you know, the bad guys from the Lord of the Rings uh, uh, releases themes, as well as, you know, pirate stuff. And uh, while we're here, right, real quick, let me just say that, uh, pardon my dust, uh, you know, there is... My, my display is quite dusty at the moment, so you know you, you might see some show up on the footage, and I apologize in advance. I didn't have time to actually get through and try to do a quick cleanup on stuff before I did the video. And then this little section here is actually the newest thing that we were working on. Uh, it was actually, we began working on it as of yesterday, and it's going to be a little pyramid type thing that we put in here. Uh, that you've, you've seen from uh, some of the old uh, Lego Adventures theme of the 90s sets. We're kind of combining them and making a cool thing. And then here, of course, here's uh, Jack Sparrow and one of the zombie sharks from the most recent film. And, of course, anybody that's seen my uh, channel or watched my channel consistently, you know, you should recognize uh, most of, if not all, these uh, pirate ships if you don't where have you been and go check out my channel they're all over it you can't miss them I think I go into great detail on pretty much all these ships and then you see these uh, you know buckets of Lego here and that's because this display is still very much under construction uh, I, it is not by any means complete whatsoever I just I figured I owed you guys a walk through even in all of its uh, you know dust and you know disarray just to show you guys essentially what I'm going for and of course this here is my blue kingdom which you guys have not seen at all on my channel and the reason why is because it is still very very much under construction as you can see you know the minifigures laying about and and here's a you know water piece just kind of haphazardly laying there and all these other little parts and pieces because the actual village area we haven't uh, we haven't quite finished up yet uh, the castle itself is done but uh, not the village so but uh, here is the blue castle and uh, you should recognize some of the stuff from some of my other uh, videos we have you know of course changed some stuff and combined some things and I think it uh, ended up turning out rather well uh, my blue castle is larger than my red castle I would say but uh, which one you guys like better you know you maybe you can throw that in the comment section I think they both turned out uh, quite uh, fantastic and uh, we'll take a closer look at the red castle uh, when we get down to the red kingdom over there on the other side and uh, of course that is the black pearl and some other ships in the little harbor area and of course you know the whole like center section just imagine that is water 
And then uh, we have the, it leads into the forest here behind the Blue Kingdom. And uh, I don't know if I've shown you guys the forest much or not. Uh, if I've done a video on this or not. So if I haven't, well, here you go. And then here is my Forestman because I love the classic Forestman theme. I'd love to get more sets of that eventually. But this is what I have now, my little Forestman uh, display. And then uh, these, just some random minifigures right here, you know, walking through the thing. And you might recognize that other little house back there. It does appear in a stop motion series that uh, I will have more information on you guys shortly. But uh, here is my wizards, my little wizard hut. And I have all kinds of different wizards, Gandalf the White, Gandalf the Gray, Magisto, Radagast. Uh, these are essentially my, uh, you know, wizard hut. And then, you know, more forest section and it that's is where it transforms from medieval slash pirate land into more of the traditional city stuff and there is of course the haunted house right here on the edge of the forest and uh we will get to more of that stuff uh momentarily and of course as i said uh everything is still very much under construction i have not been able to give as much time as i would like to working on this thing unfortunately which i will have more news on that uh situation uh in the coming weeks i have uh, some big announcements to make in the near future so uh please stay tuned for that so i move these back out of the way and we're gonna try to you know walk around to the other side here I uh, I have to be careful of my lights so if I shine you guys in the eyes I apologize I'm trying my best so you guys can see everything appropriately and properly but not get blinded by the light and then uh, here is on the other side and here's some more views of my Mordor section and of course, uh, my little hobbit, you know, area we're going to put it in uh, right next door to it. And uh, this is still very much under construction as well. We're going to build a mountain here behind, and it's you know going to be kind of our little Erebor type uh, mock. And uh, of course, here is all the hobbits and dwarves and everybody. We have every single one of them, and uh, they are all having a merry gathering inside there. And then next to that is my uh, pirate section. This is where Rock Island Refuge, my big uh, pirate base, is located. And then uh, these two little sets here, I haven't uh, hooked up quite yet, but uh, the rest of the stuff is pretty much, you know, how I plan on leaving it. take a look around at all the pirates and their uh, stuff and of course here is the brick bounty and Captain Roger we have uh, talked about him in great detail on my channel and here's the little uh, island uh, you know beach area where pirates hang out and do all kinds of incorrigible behavior and yes uh, these are the little sets I was talking about there I just acquired them not too long ago and I haven't actually been able to put them in yet and have some other stuff here just lying around some more that I need to you know figure out what I'm gonna do with and whatnot and of course that is the silent Mary Queen Anne's Revenge Imperial flagship uh, Brickbeard's bounty and that uh, little enlightened redcoat ship of mine all right here on this uh, this water section over here and the Queen Anne's Revenge is, you know, and the Imperial flagship and, and the Redcoats, they're all kind of going after this uh, evil Silent Mary. And can't say that the Queen Anne's Revenge is working with the, the Redcoats, but that's just kind of how I got it set up right now at this moment. And of course, this leads into my Redcoat Kingdom which I did a whole video on this one in uh, more detail but uh, we'll do a quick uh, walkthrough of it again for you guys I might have made some little changes and modifications since uh, my last video on the Red Kingdom specifically I don't know maybe I did maybe I didn't so long ago who can remember 
I'm sure somebody can down put that in the comments. And then uh, here's the backs of all these, uh, you know, uh, houses and structures. They're having a good old time sitting at that table, of course. Carriage, the royal carriage. Little pond area with some horses and cows and pigs and all kinds of stuff going on right in here. Of course, this is the jousting area. And then I got this new uh, catapult there. That's a, it's a new addition that I acquired. If you watch my Lego haul number two video, that's where all of these uh, sets, these new additions came from, was uh, from that uh, from that video, thanks to my cousins. Again, a shout out to Jessica and Jill George if they watch this video. Thanks again, guys. And of course, here is the Red Castle again. And uh, again, uh, if uh, what, you guys tell me which one you like better, the blue or the red one, you know, give me a give me a shout out in the comments and tell me what you which one you prefer. I think they both look great. But I would say the blue one might be a little bit bigger. Uh, this is a classic era king that I haven't quite decided what to do with. And here's another little uh, pirate set. It, uh, it, I'm, I'm going to put it with my green coats. And speaking of my green coats, here they are. And they are kind of still in disarray. I haven't uh, spent any time whatsoever working on these guys. Because I've just been so busy with other things. You know, that is life, of course. And, and here is the back side of the forest. And, of course, that's the blue castle over there. So the, both kingdoms are kind of uh, parallel to each other. And, yeah, the green coats are going to be here, but lots of work to do. And then this is where it's going to change from uh, the fantasy into more of the city stuff. And, yes, the Disney castle is going to go there, but we still have not built it yet, unfortunately. Been very, very busy. There is the Tower Bridge. I got big plans for the Tower Bridge, uh, which, again, I just unfortunately have not been have enough time to get down to some of this stuff yet which I, I will address this all this stuff in the next video that I make after this one and uh, of course this is the city area again and I think only minor changes have been made to it since uh, my last uh, video on the city and uh, so for the most part everything is pretty much the same since the last time you saw it so I'm not going to spend a ton of time looking at uh, the city uh, I do I will get into uh, a couple of the new additions that I got here these uh, little cars again more stuff from the Lego adventures themes from the 90s cool little cars I like them so they can go they, they can go great right here in my city and again, they originally came uh, with the pyramid stuff that you saw down at the other end. A whole Egyptian theme that uh, Lego did way back when. Here's my train. It is uh, not running at the moment, as you can see. I just forgot to turn it on for the video, as a matter of fact. But that was because I didn't plan on spending a whole lot of time here looking at the city. Because, uh, again, I, nothing really has much changed since the last time you saw it nothing important anyways uh, now this stuff over here these are all just parts and pieces and minifigure stuff uh, and many figures that uh, I haven't quite figured out what to do with but I like uh, here's some class here's a classic yellow Luke Skywalker you don't see him very often and then all these uh, space and aquanauts and space police and M squad and all these um, new minifigures that we acquired, again, thanks to my cousins. And uh, here's more of the adventure theme uh, minifigures. So we got uh, we got some stuff to figure out what to do with all of them, but you can never have too many minifigures, right? And here is kind of looking down at uh, everything. And uh, here is the back side of everything, again. Uh, Arkham Asylum will be built eventually and then there down there you saw for a half a second uh, Wolverine and Deadpool fighting it out and that Deadpool minifigure is a quite uh, rare minifigure 
And then here's my little park area. You can see some of the minifigures fell over. Eventually, I think I'd like to fill it in with base plates and all the, these type of areas. Uh, my jazzercisers, I got a whole jazzercise squad, you know, because you usually see two or three, you know, ladies working out together like that. And then uh, these little micro cars. I like the micro cars. And then uh, here's some uh, ninjas uh, battling it out on the top of the Grand Emporium. And then here's my little uh, movie star and their uh, little entourage area. They live above the green grocer. And then here, over here, I have uh, the Avengers and all my uh, Marvel superheroes and stuff. They're having a little battle going on. Sea Hulk and Thor and Iron Man and Hawkeye. And I, I pretty much have all the main ones. There's Spider Man up there and uh, Falcon. Again, uh, big plans for uh, the Tower Bridge in the future. And then here is Freddy's house. That This is our actual mock that we created from the ground up. And uh, of course it's from uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street films. It is a very, uh, very, very cool mock that we are quite proud of. And again, I have a video dedicated to this uh, whole mock entirely. So uh, look for it on my channel. And then next to that we have the haunted house with a cemetery in front of it and all kinds of uh, spookiness going on over here. And of course you guys see my dogs just lying around in the, in the background just happy to be a part of it. And yes they have learned that uh, Lego is not for them. Oh, sorry for the camera angles here, guys. Um, might have got shined in the eye a little bit. I'm trying to give you guys a good view of everything. And again, more. All this stuff over here is still very much under construction. And of course, that leads back to the forest area. And again, that house right there at the end, that's uh, my daughter's minifigure house. And... Please roll in the stop motion series, which will be, is jumping to the top of my to-do list, because you guys have been asking and asking and asking about it, so, which, uh, again, I'll have more information on all this uh, uh, news uh, next week. So, uh, if you want to know what's going on, what my plans are, and everything, please, please tune in next week for that video. It's, uh, it's where I'm going to... You know, let the cat out of the bag, and you know, let's talk some talk about some things. I'm going again. Here is the pyramid type uh, structure we're building. Again, it's just we just started building it yesterday, and then here's a, a shark and a little pirate, and here's more you know, front side of uh, my Mordor section. I'm quite proud of our our Mordor. Looks uh, quite evil, quite intimidating. And then these two little buildings there, they, these are again uh, new additions that they're not a attached. I still have to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with them. I just kind of set them there for now because they're going to go with this stuff eventually. Just haven't quite figured out how or what or why. But you know, that's the fun. You got to figure out exactly how everything's going to go. And you know, a lot of thought goes into everything. And then there's Captain Hook and Peter Pan. They're on a, that's their little ship. They're just hanging out. And then here's a, more views of some of the pirate stuff. The Inquisition. Of course, you guys have heard and seen all about that by, by now. Or at least I hope so. Here's the Goblin King with his little goblins getting ready for some trouble and then Gollum's down here in the dungeon very cool this uh, set here uh, I highly recommend it for any Lord of the Rings fan and Smog sits up so intimidating there on top he kinda just towers over everything in my uh, kingdom world layout display 
which I think is, is quite cool the way he just kind of towers over everything. Very intimidating. Very intimidating presence, of course. And uh, that is my video for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. And again, please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys are amazing, amazing, amazing. And uh, I will be seeing you guys all again soon. Uh, so uh, take care, everybody. See you. Check you later.